Hi everyone! A couple of days ago I saw a beautiful picture of Chinese landscape and it was a misty morning in very beautiful pink and violet colors. And I immediately remembered about this picture from Kerbera Zane's book and I decided that it will be a nice color combination for the background. I decided to use gouache paints for the background and totally I used six colors. I put a picture of all my paints in the beginning of this video. I decided to use gouache first because it could be reactivated with water, not like acrylic paint. With acrylic paints you have to work quite quickly and I was afraid that I won't be able to make a smooth color transition between pink and violet if I will use acrylics. I just don't have enough skills yet for painting the background with acrylics. And with gouache paints it's easy because as I said you can reactivate it with water. I used a very helpful trick for the background. Before starting to paint with colors, I made a, some kind of underpainting using just white gouache paint. And in this way, while my white gouache paint lawyer stays wet, it helped me to make a easier mixing between other colors and also bright paints mixed with white underpaint. And in this way I was able to get pastel colors. First I worked with a synthetic flat brush and then I switched for the round brush to color the smaller areas. I think that gouache paints are very forgiving for beginners. You can easily reactivate paint with water and you can also easily cover one layer with the other layer and also, you can apply even a lighter layer on top of the darker layers, and because paints are opaque. And the last thing, you don't have to worry about bleeding through with gouache paints, because you don't use a lot of water with them. Paper in this edition is quite decent and previously I used watercolors, but in order to make such a smooth transition, which I want to obtain on this background, I had to use a lot of water if I choose to use watercolors. And I didn't want to risk and to put a lot of water on this page. So I decided that gouache paints is much more preferable for this book. When I finished to paint the background, I chose a couple of pencils with colors similar to the background. For me it was a set of Printworks Market pencils, but my choice was only because colors were quite similar to the background. And I colored with them small areas where I wasn't able to cover with my brush. It's not an easy task to make a color choice to create a right color palette for Kerbera Zana's pictures because we have here so many details and so many objects. I noticed that we have a lot of mountains on this picture, so after the background I decided to do the mountains and in this way it will be easier for me to decide about colors for the rest of the page. For the mountains first I started to use my Derwent Color Soft set first because I miss them a lot and I also promised to use them more in my tutorials, but I was disappointed. I don't know why, maybe I lose my skills with using these pencils and I burnish them too quickly, but I wasn't able to get a nice bright colors from them and they didn't mix very well on this paper. My book is American edition, I believe, of Imagemorphia. And other pencils look quite nice on this, but not the red color sorts. And I don't know why. So after I colored my mountains, I added additional color accents 
using my Cohen Norman de Luz watercolor pencils in violet and dark blue color. You can see the pencils in the end of this video. I think that in the next video I will be coloring the head of the panda bear and maybe I will use Derwin drawing and maybe also Prismas. I like uh, gray colors in Prisma set and I haven't decided yet about what brand of pencils I will be using for the rest of the objects. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video and that you are interested in how to work with gouache paints because I definitely uh, plan to use more of this wonderful media in my next tutorials. I wish you happy day and I see you in the next part. Bye bye!